Engineer 775 with uh, the first video in a series of many. This will be a playlist called the John Deere L. And I just picked this up. This is a 1940 John Deere Model L stylized version. You can see the curve to it. It's a styled version. Been doing some research. Um, been I've known about this tractor for quite a long time. Um, was uh, a good one of my best friends um, and I bartered for this tractor well I got I bartered him this has been in his family for 40 plus years this tractor is 74 years old roughly and it's in really really good condition very hard to find anything with the tires that are you know the crisscross I'm gonna I'm gonna basically be going through this is my first I've been looking for a little tractor that my son and I, Elijah, could work on together, a restoration type job. And uh, this is it, a 70 plus year tractor. It's a great tractor, so many things about it. This engine is actually a Hercules engine. It's got a simple governor, simple updraft carburetor. Uh, the radiator and the cooling system is a thermosiphon system. You uh, to start it, it's a hand crank to start and uh, most everything is is intact so a few things that got to be worked on it, it I couldn't get it running when we first got it so uh, but it was running when it was put away so just needs a little bit of TLC and but well, just got it home and one of the other cool things is and you know what I mean if you find I just love old things so I got some old operators manuals Hercules operators manual for the engine a John Deere Model L tractor um, instructions, even a newer parts catalog for John Deere L. A lot of handwritten notes. It was sold, well, manufactured November 22nd, 1940. It was actually um, shipped 1941 to Virginia and for $500, which is a lot of money in 1941. So, some neat things, a lot of notes. I got receipts on things that were rebuilt or replaced. But everything's original on it and uh, very excited. So, I'm going to be pouring through these manuals, double checking serial numbers and engine numbers and all that. But um, So, really cool, really cool tractor. Also got a, a, a PTO. Um, there's a side PTO for this. And I actually do have it. And it... Uh, goes right here. Unbolt those four bolts and the PTO slides in and a pulley will run here around 1500 RPMs. And uh, it's got the Wyco uh, Magneto and what else can I tell you? His typical oil filled uh, filter. Um, just a great two cylinder uh, Hercules engine and got a little, see a little Peacock leak, which is normal. I'm gonna have to replace that. Just a tiny drip. Put some gas in it to see if she'd fire. But uh, anyway, I got some work to do. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna do is get it sandblasted after I get it running well and all the mechanicals working. Then I'm gonna tear it down, take fenders off. I'm gonna actually um, dismount. I'm gonna take these tires off of these rims. These tires are phenomenal and. They're just in phenomenal shape, and I do not want any sandblasters touching it. So I'm going to just start working on it. I want to go slow and steady with it, so I might put up a few videos before I post the first one. And that's it, John Deere L. And one of the coolest things about the tractor, well, I think, that I think will be really neat to do, and I might do it later on. See, these two, these two tubes are integral to the frame, rear end makes a very strong tractor, is to put a um, bolt through a removable gasifier that will be painted the same color as the tractor. And uh, so that would be cool to run the old John Deere two-cylinder on wood. But for now, we're going to restore her to as close as I can get original condition. So everything's in good shape. You know, the pads from are not wore out. From being used and uh, it's just an awesome awesome little tractor okay that's enough for my first video on the restoration project of the John Deere model L 
Engineer 775, signing out. Alright Elijah, this is going to be our project together. We're going to rebuild the John Deere L and you're going to be able to drive it. Yep, uh, once my legs get a little bit longer... Well, by the time we get it fully restored, your legs might just reach it. This, this is a slow project. We're going to take our time and do it, do it right. And look for any parts like that steering wheel. We're going to look for one of those and replace some things. But yes, for the most part, it might be too rickety and it can slow too down. rickety. Um, yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna do a, this is gonna be a fun project. All right. Look at I think he enjoys it already. Down.